four-time Miss Olympia Jay Cutler. Welcome to my channel, Jay Cutler TV. And make sure to stay in tune with the newest and updated videos. Subscribe below, guys. Thank you so much for following along. Every day is another opportunity to get stronger and be better than you were yesterday. Who's your biggest competition? You are. Get up, show up, and do work. We strive to represent hard work, dedication, and passion for every athlete. Developed for athletes who demand nothing but the best. Our supplements contain no proprietary blends or artificial colors. So what you see is what you get. Your pain today will be your strength tomorrow. Bar Nutrition. Defy your limits. <laughs> We're back home. <laughs> Yeah, like these guys. Like, oh, you can't grow this one. This is like yeah. three weeks. I was going to say, you can really work on that one. You got to put some miracle like, growing. Really, like four weeks of like, okay, come on, buddy. You're lucky, grow. man. does it every time. This is as much as it gets for me. <laughs> There's only like two days for me. <laughs> Back here real quick. Hi <laughs> 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 guys, in my Mac 6 and we are at the Mecca and I got my favorite people from Northern Cal in, in the Mecca today. It was very, very cool. Tari and Neil. Yeah. How's it going guys? Good. Yeah? Tired. What are you doing here? <laughs> in my ass kicked. <laughs> really? <laughs> Literally. Came down here for a day of uh, the Charles Glass special. Yeah, that's what Jay calls yeah. it. <laughs> Just so you know. Is it really? Because that's what I've always called it. <laughs> Mr. Angle's Charles Bass special. Um, so you actually took the time from your you know daily grind and come over here. Why Why do you do that? Why do you come here and, and fly? You have to fly it's to come here. It's inspirational to come here. Yeah. Any, anytime you come here, you know, it gives you a whole other round of motivation. It just fills you up. You love seeing the people here. I mean, you come see you, Dave and Charles, Dexter, Stan, Sean. Everyone's here. It's two weeks now to the Olympia. It's a fun time to be here. Yeah. And uh, to have the opportunity to train with Charles is always so special. I've, I've been fortunate enough to do it a handful of times now. And how, how long have you been doing this? I've come down, trained with Charles at least three or four times a year now for about three or four years. Oh, so only, so it's only at once every yeah, two months? Yeah, once every two or three months I'll come okay. down. Um, you were just here like. Well, this I don't one, know. yeah, this was a lot quicker. <laughs> I, was about, I was down here, what, three weeks ago, I think. It yeah. feels like. Could you see yourself uh, come down like once a month? Oh yeah, this? I yeah. could. I definitely could. I, it's I'd always love a fun trip. Do you usually come, Tari, or you weren't here last time? I wasn't here last time. Um, this is my third, third time here now. First yeah. time ever training with Charles, so that was an really? experience. Really? Yeah. What did you say today when you said, I want to come to goals to do what? I wanted to do glutes. There you go. It's my weakest <laughs> part, and I just don't know what to do. You hear and see so many different ways on research and I just wanted to learn from the so best. Did you so. learn some good stuff today? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> to, to, bring, to bring back home? Yes, yes for sure. I think that's what's cool about Venice. It's, that it's really um, a pool of, of knowledge. So when you come yes. over here, you really feel like wherever you're from, it doesn't yeah. matter where around the world, you go back with a bunch of yes. things and to apply. Yeah, everybody's and, willing to help each other. Here. That, yeah. was, that was one of the special things, you know, pros who compete against each other, also train against each other. It's, yeah. It's yeah. family when you're inside here. It's yeah, I think that's what makes goals special because obviously we saw in, in episode two, we saw, you know, that beautiful gem, yes. you know, that you get straight at sometimes. And the facility, you can't you can't beat it. I mean, this is like right up there with oxygen gem. Yeah, it's one of the more uh, special gems. But, and, and when you come to goals, it's like, you know, old stuff and it's not it's beat up. clean. And, yeah, it's, it's the you know, environment. It's but it's the walls, yeah. the aura. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's you know, when you walk inside. You know, and all the knowledge and the history that this place has that really gets you going. Yeah. Right? Exactly. That is so cool. Uh, there you go. Come on. Use those curls. See up. Don't arch the back so hard. Tighten your lower stomach up. Let's go. Come on. There you go. 
Now you're moving it. Moving it nice and easy. That's it. All the way up to the contraction. Come on, go. All the way up in there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it. Move it in. Move it in. Come on. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. Yes. Come on. Come on. Good. Different setting today, you guys. That's right, uh, cool. it's nice. Episode, episode, episode. Defining the mission, you guys. It's great to have you guys at Goals. Um, Tari, you look tired. I'm tired. You told me I want to come to Goals. I want Charles to train me on glutes. And That's like, right. He's killing you. Yeah, and you like an exercise. I'm just pouring sweat. He's doing his job. Huh? And you still look good. Oh, thank somehow. You. Um, <laughs> feedback on the second video, you guys, real quick. How was it? it? I yeah, I love it. Turned out great. It was a lot of fun. Um, everything I want, I want raw, real footage. You know, if it's our life, it's just in a nutshell. Then let's do it. I enjoy it. We're going to shoot Derek soon. That's right. That's going to be Derek. good. And then we have the Olympia. We have a lot of good stuff coming up. So I'm really glad to pull up. Enjoy our enjoy your story. Yeah. Uh, we're going to spend the day in Venice. Yeah. Day, day, day in the life. Day in the life in Venice. This will be good. I'm sure we'll go eat after that and all that stuff and oh, check yeah. out the beach if you can. It'll be great. Yep. I want to talk to Charles real quick because it must really make, make you feel good that you guys are actually taking the time to fly all the way from uh, up north to come and train with him. It's very, very it's cool. It's always hard. Charles, Thanks, come Charles. here for a second. <laughs> How does that make you feel that these guys are actually taking the time to fly all the way from Northern California to come and train with the, the, God, the Godfather bodybuilding still? But they threaten me. They say, if you don't have your ass there, I'm gonna come to your house. That, so I that's had to because they keep texting and calling you. It takes so long to get on a Charles Glass list. No, no. It's a very long you know list. <laughs> I, I really enjoy training my friends. And when you enjoy training your friends, no matter what, you show up. Because I was planning on sleeping in today. <laughs> but I they, couldn't do it. I remember I had to. You to go. So I, I got to get in there. Thank you so much, Charles, for being fun. here. All right. Thank you. I'm like, don't walk so fast. <laughs> Watch me trip over myself. Where are we going, guys? Firehouse. Ah, Tyree's never been. No, never, nope, never been. What so is she going to have, the Bob Bowl? Uh, I don't know. What do you <laughs> it's probably want? too much food for her. No, Bob she bowl. can handle I don't even know what's there. I've never been there. <laughs> what do you have, Neil, when you go there? Shit, last time I went, what I get? I got the, uh, I got a patty milk. I'll probably get chicken and rice today. Do you ever get the Bob Bowl? Do you know what that is? I have gotten it once. Yeah, yeah, the Bob Chicken Roll yep. Bowl. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It, it's good, though. It's very good. First time at the firehouse. <laughs> this is the Bob Bull Jr. Oh. <laughs> you hear that, Bob? It's the uh, the poor man's Bob Bull. That's the poor man's <laughs> <laughs> the state. It's the little guy's Bob Bull. <laughs> Thank you so much. That looks good, Tari. Yeah. What'd you get? Uh, the Cobb salad, but no ham. Just nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, that's gonna feel good after that workout. That's right. You gotta refuel. Yeah. This is my fuel for my workout. Oh, that's right. <laughs> exactly. I've been, 
Bon appétit, guys. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. He was just about to make his concoction. I said, no, no. <laughs> Tell people what you're doing. So, so, okay, what's your pre workout secret? Before I come and train every day, I'll take my invigorate, my non stimulant pre workout. I take one scoop of that. That's the anti fatigue. Yep, my okay. anti fatigue. Then I'll take one scoop of the Energize if I find my scoop right here. So with the two together, it gives me 10 grams of citrate, which will increase your nitric oxide levels. So do you actually use them as an intra workout? No, I just prefer them as a pre-workout. You okay. can use this one better as an intra. Okay. Um, the pre is generally a pre because of the caffeine. It takes a little bit of time for it to kick in. How much longer are you taking before the workout? I'll take about a half hour before I work out. Okay. And then I take one scoop of uh, essential amino acids with the fatigue yeah with all so i take all three together oh yeah, oh okay. all three come together that way that's your pre that's my pre-workout okay. and then usually if i'm home i also take a pinch of himalayan sea salt why sea salt will help sodium is what creates a pump in the body so you need the sodium to push nutrients it carries everything with it along the parts etc so with the fullness yes. while you train yes you need the electrolytes okay okay same with potassium it acts the same way so i take 200 milligrams of potassium and then a pinch of sea salt and usually I throw it all in together and that has so far given me the best pumps and fullness from any workout that I could have. So you, you blend all three, gotcha. Okay, I'm, I'm glad you three. said that because a lot of time people have questions about that. What did you put in there? Those are actually cool, those little yeah, sample packs. sample packs. We got sample packs here, we pass them out today. Nice. They look good. Yeah, we have uh, we had little bottles that didn't work out as well, so we got the yeah, packs. Yeah, I like the packs, yeah. I like the packs a lot better. Is that what you send to people whenever they want to try the product? Yeah, anyone who wants to try and purchase the product, we always include sample packages of our other products. Nice. Well. That way everyone gets a chance to try it out. Very cool. All right. Cool, man. I'm sure you're going to have a good workout now. I hope so. All right, all right. Some weights. All that crap you did on Instagram didn't count, did it? That's it. It's not supposed to count. Now you see what it is, huh? Sean's I talking you a lot. I know you weren't lifting weights. Sean's talking a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm doing the stack. <laughs> what a stack. jerk! <laughs> but this is what it's like lifting, huh? Hey, it's not the first time I've been here. <laughs> I'm talking about the picture you post. I'm talking about you doing the stack. video. Yeah, I'm like, I was telling you I had to do the stack. I'm like, there was no stack. <laughs> I think it was about half the stack. <laughs> Those handles are tough, man. Those bag grips. Oh, yeah, I love them. Yeah. I love that. Good one. Well, Prime makes it was like you saw in the video with yeah. a single. You got each hand. So, like how you have the, how these have the two uh, tables in that room. So, they have a left hand one and a right hand one. So it's like medium background. Oh wow. It's pretty nice. So now you see what it's like when you have to make the weights. It's a lot heavier, right? The weights are heavier here. 60 pounds would be fine. That's a lot harder here. Sweat up, man. This is what's standing here. You still wear your claws. Yeah, sleeve shit. Bring it out. Ask it. Come on. Ask it. Come on.
Should have been the first one. Tony Pearson. That's cool. Busy today. How do you like it, Tyre? First time. It's very cool. It's cool, huh? Yeah. You want to go see the hoops of uh, White Man Can't Jump? Yeah. Let's go do that. <laughs> White Man Can Jump. That was a good movie. Where are you guys from? Uh, That's for you, brother. Oh, thank you very much. From where? Up by Sacramento. What about you guys down here? Oh, let me sign it. Huh? Can you see me on TV one day because I met that guy? You, 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 you gonna be on Muscle? You gonna be on Jay Cutler TV, man? These guys are famous. Are you Jay Cutler? No, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Jay Cutler, man. No, I do all these move. I do all these videos. Okay, though. yeah, yeah. I, I used to lift weights with uh, Chad Aikes up there in Reno, Nevada. Oh, up there, okay. Up there at uh, American Iron, 650 oh, Rock Boulevard, oh, American you Iron Gym. You're Reno, famous Nevada. too. There you go. Well, uh, I used to do the weightlifting and powerlifting, not anymore. <laughs> uh, this is me. That's me. Uh, I'm 500 euro. Uh, there's 18 songs on here. It's over one hour. Awesome. It's my music. So if you come to Venice Beach, look up for this guy. Remember That's that it. face. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember. Thank you, thank you. Remember the face. That's and right. I'm Josh Barra. Hi. Nice to meet you, Josh. Yeah, sorry, took a CD from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Those are it. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. There's rings over there. 
Yep. Eventually you get to move down here, you guys. That's the dream. That's definitely the dream. <laughs> yep. I, I bet the, I dog, handle the, traffic. the dogs would love it. Yeah, but if you live on the beach and you train at goals, you have to go nowhere, Tyre. <laughs> That's true. You go to the gym. <laughs> That's it. Grocery store, firehouse. That's it. You're done. I'd be scared to go down. Good later. He's like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Pretty, huh? Yeah. Talented. Fresh. Yep. Fresh. crossing the border from Mexico to California. <laughs> yeah. Santa Monica versus Venice. That's beautiful. Look at that. Like this, uh, is, this is your border right here. That's right. <laughs> Passport. Immigration. Right. <laughs> yeah. New world. <laughs> yeah. Everything's clean now. Yeah. Nice. No bird scooter allowed. You like it? It's nice, huh? It's really cool. Beautiful out here. Yeah, it's great. I just want to play with the puppy dogs though. <laughs> I know. Dogs. There's a lot of dogs here. I miss my fur babies. I know. <laughs> you missed it. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about uh, your beginnings in this whole journey. We last time we, uh, we we talked to Neil and he kind of gave us you know the story of how you got involved in you know, training and, and which of course leads to where you are today and what you're doing. So what is what is your story? How did you get involved in in fitness and bodybuilding and what did you get interested in? Um, well, I went to one of my friends first bodybuilding show. It was the Black and Silver in Oakland. I think it was an all-natural bodybuilding show and never had been around this before at all. Um, How old were you? And I was 21 I think it was. Okay. Um, I've never been really active in the gym before. Um, I played soccer a little bit when I was younger and volleyball but never really into the gym environment. And when I went to that bodybuilding show um, it just really inspired me to see these women yes, young. <laughs> these women up on stage and how much dedication it took to get up there, first of all the courage, but the discipline they had to show. And it really inspired me. Um, so then from that, I actually trained myself and did my first uh, all-natural bodybuilding show and took second place. Wow. Um, 
small little show, but it was the experience and getting up there because I am terrified of being on stage. Really? <laughs> in front of the camera. Um, and then from there, it just kind of sparked the interest. So you didn't have any, um, I don't want to say demons, but you didn't have any like uh, body issue images? Always. Or, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. What girl doesn't? I mean, in high school, I wasn't popular. Okay. I was kind of heavier. Um, I got picked on by girls, and so I hung out with my older brother. Wow. And then uh, my ex, we were into cars, so I used to go drag racing every single weekend at um, Sonoma gotcha. Raceway, and that's what I did. So gotcha. completely different life than completely today. Different, yes. <laughs> wow. So were you still affected when you went to that first bodybuilding competition? Were you still affected with by the way you felt about yourself and by your look, or was it something that you kind of had? behind you or um I loved it and you know I was I had no muscle I just basically dieted I was anorexic skinny I didn't know what I was doing you know yeah. and it probably was an unhealthy way to do it yeah but it was an accomplishment for me to even get the courage to do that um, after that I didn't do a show until this past April which I did uh, the MTC Mother Load in Reno. Oh, you did? I did. And um, how'd you I, do there? I took third in open. Nice. So I was. So very, Neil helped for he, that. He prepped me. Awesome. Um, I felt like I've never looked better. Wow. I had muscle. I had a six pack. Wow. Was, uh, so oh, so cool. Yeah. That's very very cool. Well, thanks for telling us about the story. Thank I you. appreciate it. All right, you guys. I need to ask you um, one last thing. We were talking about a little bit about the procs, um, you know, last time and uh, the order you guys came up with and you know why you decided to do that. Um, talk to me about the CBD. That's your, that's your project. That's, that's her, your baby. That was her decision. Right? I, I was too nervous <laughs> to do it. I didn't think it would be as beneficial as it was and uh, she wanted to pull the trigger so we did. So, it's, so it's talk to me about it. Why did you decide to do that and why was it uh, um, a good product to come well, up one, with? One, because it's new. It's not too popular yet out in the bodybuilding world per se. Really? Because um, it seems like everyone's talking about it. It's starting it's now. now. Yeah. When we decided to pull the trigger and launch it, there was, there was nothing yet. out there. So we're really excited. Plus, we also did an edible gummy versus doing like the vaping or the drops and all that. So my thing is big on taste. I want everything to taste good. If I'm not going to take it myself, then we're not going to make it. So with the CBD gummies, I wanted something tasty. I love the vitamins in the gummies, so that's kind of how we came up with it. And how long did it take from the moment you actually decided to do it until you actually came up with it? What, what was the length of time? Um, it took oh, a little bit. Weeks. It took Probably a little bit of time. Eight weeks. The hardest part was finding a manufacturer yeah. because the CBD and marijuana industry is just like people who smoke Very marijuana. <laughs> were, it was hard to find a good upfront active person for a manufacturer. Anyone to call you back. Wow. Yeah. It, um, you look online? How did you like is it? Yeah we started yeah we looked online. We were just looking for manufacturers online. I went through Colorado some in Southern California and then she found I was giving up and she found a guy in Florida. It's a lot of effort, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of hours that you're talking about. When you start from scratch and you have no clue what you're doing, yeah, you, get, you, you, you have you to go, learn everything you from You go the from beginning. nothing, you go from wow. research to you get the idea down, yep. then we want to try it, so then we have to find the manufacturer to get it to us, to try it, to see the wow. effects. It's a process. I mean, we, I love, the reason why I wanted to do it is because I love the natural healing effects it has. Because no, yeah, you know the smoker, you, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. That's not, that's not <laughs> what I do. But you do really like it. I you, love you it. You like the benefits. I love the benefits of the CBD. You know, you don't get the high um, from the THC or anything like that. There's no THC in it. So the CBD gummy is specifically to help with recovery, repair those muscles, inflammation, all that. And it truly has helped me with having back issues. So I love it. Yeah. Does it help you sleep better too? Yes. Yes. It helps, you, it helps you really on the line. Because there's a lot of people these days that can't sleep. Wow. I hear that all the time. They wake, they sleep for a few hours, they wake up in the middle of the night, they can't go back to bed. It's yeah. a big problem. Yeah. No, these definitely help. And we it doesn't make you groggy, so you're not going to wake up in the morning after taking a Tylenol PM or whatever. Yeah. You know, you just have a nice, restful, peaceful sleep. And since, so how many weeks you've had it for like, I don't know, like a month and a half maybe? Yeah, about Two six months? weeks. Yeah, six weeks? Yeah. And and it's selling great. We're it's been our number one seller. <laughs> it's been our number one seller. First batch, yeah, first, first batch, batch almost out. Our first batch wow. is down in the last box. So. Yeah. And how did you get the word out? 
Just social media. Social, social media. media. Social media is gig. Wow. Yeah. So that was a home run that one. It, it's been huh? a home run. We're going to be expanding it into next year with supplements and other nutritional products. Wow. That's awesome. Thanks yeah. for talking about it. That's great. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.